Well, hello everyone. Welcome back once again to my let's play of Parasite Eve. This is going to be part 13. And I'm really excited because as I mentioned before, we're heading over to the last dungeon of the game right after this. If you remember from last time, I was doing the optional dungeon, the warehouse. And I told you guys that I was gonna leave and come back here on my own. Like, you know, just so you didn't have to watch my whole struggle of getting out of the dungeon. Now I'm back at the police station. Now why am I here? I also mentioned, if you remember, that I was going to build my weapon and get it ready for the final stages of the game. So it so happens that I have all the components that I need now, and I've been putting a lot of thought into this. And I've decided that I want to use the G3A3 rifle that I've been using for a while, the one that I got at the hospital, and use it as my endgame weapon. The reason for this is that I only need one trading card to upgrade it to max so that I have all four slots available that I can, so that I can put abilities into it. In addition to that, uh, over the past couple of dungeons that we completed, the Chinatown sewer slash subway station, where I got this uh, this uh, weapon, the shotgun, so I wanted to transfer the burst ability into my weapon. Also, if you remember from the warehouse, I got this other weapon called the PPK. Yeah, there we go. And what I can do with this is transfer this quick draw ability into my current weapon. There's another ability that I want, but I don't have the weapon right now. I'm gonna actually get it at the end of the museum. But since I already used my trading card, I can have it ready for when I need it. All right, so we're ready to go into the museum. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. All right, we haven't been here in such a long time. If you remember last time we were here, we took Maeda with us. He wanted to do some testing at the lab. And we found some interesting information about Aya's mitochondria and what Eve wants. So we're here to stop her. If you remember, the slime is heading this way. And that's why we're here. Oh. Who's that? Who's there? The only thing we saw was a lab coat, but I think you guys know who that is, of course. You can go north if you want from here. It's not really required that you follow, you know, code man this way. You don't really have to do that. It's kind of optional. But I figured I would do it since I want to grab all the items. I think there was something in here, but I don't really see it, huh? All right, I mean, I have to go back this way anyway, so... As I mentioned, the, what I'm doing right now, this particular section is not necessary, completely optional. But there's a there's a few items that you might want. So that's I like you know I'm trying to do everything 100%, get all the items that I can. So might as well show you guys, right? Uh, and yeah, as I was saying, I haven't been here for such a long time, so we're back here. Ah, hey. Oh, on our first encounter, awesome. That's kind of interesting. We have to fight dinosaurs. And these are kind of annoying because they have a, a short range attack and th there's not really much room to maneuver to avoid them. However, as you can see, I have awesome burst ability and I can shoot everybody in a cone after me and kill them right off the bat, no problems. Unfortunately, this room is a dead end. How the hell did the Xenosaurs get here? Unfortunately, this room is a dead end, so you can't go up the top section where lab coat man run off so we have to go back we have no other choice but at least we got the amulet the items that we wanted make sure you do this boss fight i mean like, i guess it's not mandatory uh not boss fight sorry the dinosaurs that we just fought so i recommend that you do it even though it's not mandatory but i still recommend that you do it because of the bonus points that you got if you notice i got 900 out of that so make sure that you do it this is the, another enemy that you can fight here i know this uh this is called, it's called the chameleon it's pretty easy to beat, basically all he does is jump around and attack you with his tongue. Um, not too big of a deal if you're well armored as, as you saw, I only took 5 damage from it. Should be okay, they do give you uh, a lot of junk, they tend to give you junk if you're farming to get your ultimate weapon from Wayne later on. It's not the best place to farm it, but if you want to, here's another option. I still recommend that you go back to Central Park if you want to farm that. Uh, did I mention that I hate grinding? I'm not sure if I did. 
Okay, yeah, same dinosaur and chameleon that we fought before, so same strategy. Like, you know, even even with it together. Oh, there we go. I, I, I knew I forgot an item. Okay, yeah, so this is a chest hidden in here with a uh, medicine four. I mean, not that you're gonna be needing a lot of uh, healing, you should be plenty stocked from the last dungeons that we did, but still, like, you know, it never hurts to have some extra, especially if it's your first time running through the game and through this dungeon in general. This is kind of like, uh, if you haven't got the experience to, like, you know, play around a lot, then you might struggle a little bit. Ooh. So there's these panels here. They're gonna ask you a few questions, and every time you answer the correct answer, it's gonna give you an item. Ah, uh, more chameleons, no worries. Uh, before you go up, there's a hidden room, uh, there we go, on the right side, with a few more items that you might need. Make sure you don't miss those. And as I was mentioning before, you're gonna find a lot of these panels, they're gonna ask you questions. The name of the organelle that appeared in the first organism, and if you don't know, that's mitochondria. Sometimes the items that you get are kind of random from those from those little panel machines, but you know they're free. You can try as many times as you want to. So if you get it wrong, go ahead and try again. It's worth it. Okay, more dinosaurs in tight quarters. It's a bit annoying, but not too big of a deal. They do tend to give you a lot of medicine, so uh, you know if you're struggling a little bit, go ahead and stock up. The main thing about this area is very similar to the hospital that we went to last time. Oh, there's a hidden room here. Make sure that you get this. Easy to miss. Trading card and a tool. Awesome. I just got a, also an end suit, which is really good, but I'm not sure if I want to use it, although... I, I mean, I, I guess I do have a lot of tools, right? So I might as well use them up. Because otherwise I'm gonna start running out of space anyway. So yeah, I, I think it's I think it's a good idea. I should just go ahead and, and wear the end suit. I mean, it's not the one that I'm looking for. There's about four suits that you can get here at the museum, but I'm gonna wait for the one that I'm gonna get later. Uh, but this one, like you know, I'm not hindering myself or anything by using this one. Might as well, right? As I was saying, the museum is very similar to the hospital that we explored during day four, in 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 a sense that there's a lot of rooms that are interconnected but it's not as intuitive to find your way around and there's really no way to get lost similar to the hospital like you know all the rooms are connected with each other and you're not really gonna get lost but you might have to do some backtracking and as you know with this game backtracking involves fighting a lot of enemies which you may not want to do what was the nutritional source of the first organism that lived 3.9 billion years ago? And this one's not exactly intuitive, but it's nitrous oxide, the answer. If you know a bit a lot about microbiology, then you might be able to do this otherwise. You know, just follow what I'm doing. And if not, then try again. This is uh, yet another enemy that you can fight here, it's a scorpion. It's kind of hard to avoid, he just attacks you with its tail from really far away. Uh, I think it's probably better to just attack from the side, but he should be dead pretty soon, so... Oh damn, I'm getting owned. So you should be okay, just kind of keep attacking it. Uh, he might take some punishment. It, you might, I mean, it's not really a boss fight, it's more of a random enemy. You're gonna encounter a couple of these along the way. Uh, it's more of a, like an introductory section for you know, more enemies to come. You're gonna see these accompanied by other dinosaurs and... There's another new enemy that we're gonna see in a little bit that I'll, I'll show. So, as you know, I'm always trying to... reduce my inventory size. There's just so many items around here, so I'm always using... Even though I don't really need to heal fully, but since I have so many medicines, might as well use them. That way I can reduce a bit of the inventory space. Lessen my load. A lot of dinosaurs here. Lots of dinosaurs. If you go down here, there's a locked door that will take you back to the same area where we found, you know, Lab Code Man. But it's locked for now. That's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to disable the alarm system. Oh, well, this was three chameleons. 
Okay, in this section, make sure the way out is up the stairs that we just saw. However, you have to come this way first. And the first time that you come here, like you know, it's, it's pretty standard, like you know, a museum exhibition. There's nothing here, so you and there's no exit either, so all you have to do is go back. What was that? You have to go here, otherwise you can't continue. I'll show you in a little bit, basically. Otherwise you would have to backtrack here anyway. And that's what I'm trying to do, like, you know, I'm trying to avoid... ...doing as much backtracking as possible. I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I really hate grinding, so I don't want- I want to avoid as many fights as I can. It's not like I need... ...extra experience or anything. This is another enemy that you get to fight, this is... ...the Armadillos. And... Burst is really helpful here because you can usually line them up and shoot them all in a row. But they're, they're normally pretty easy to avoid, all you have to just kind of just move around and get out of the way from the rolling attack. If there's a few of them together, then it might be a little bit difficult to avoid. But... So long as you keep on the move, I think you should be okay. And if you have Burst, even better. If you have Quick Draw, the one that I use from the PPK, then even better. You, you don't, I mean, mind you, you don't have to do what I'm doing. Uh, I just figured, since I already know a little bit about the, the game, since I already beat this before, I kind of want to have the easiest time that I can without, you know, breaking the game. I'm just using abilities that the game is giving me. And I'm also kind of preparing for endgame. The mitochondria creates ATP, adenosine triphosphate within the cell. How much energy is this equivalent to? Again, not very intuitive, but it's 200,000 volts per cube, uh, centimeter cube, I think is that? Uh, I got a few microbiology questions, nothing too big. The way that you can progress here is, like I said, you might get lost a little bit, you might have to do some backtracking. There are certain areas that, as I mentioned before, are being locked currently by an alarm system, so eventually you'll be able to get around room from uh, room to room which, uh, without being blocked by anything. But for now, you have to take kind of like a linear path. This is the room that I was telling you about. If you don't activate that little earthquake thing in the room below, then you won't be able to progress. There's two ways that you can go here. You can go down or up. The way... The exit is up. But if you want a couple of items, then you have to go down. It's kind of like a short detour, so I guess it's not too bad. Although it's not exactly particular items that I need. I mean, just a tool. That's pretty much it. As you saw, it's the same room that we came from, so... If you want to skip them, that's fine. Oh yeah, so as I was saying, I really, really hate grinding. So I'm trying to avoid doing that as much as possible. No, it's, it's not that... because I also like difficulty in my games. And I know that I'm kind of OP right now, because I've been getting all the items and, like, you know, I'm not exactly underleveled or anything. I've been upgrading my weapons little by little, so I'm pretty much OP right now. But I'm not going out of my way to level up, if that makes any sense. Or, or to, you know, or to become OP. Alright, one dinosaur. Not a problem. And I think I'm almost level too. By taking mitochondria, which uses oxygen as its nutritional source, into the body and living with it symbiotically, the bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of energy. What was the consequence? Again. Uh, microbiology stuff, aging. And more rewards. So let's keep going. I think I'm almost level, actually. This is a really good area to level, because the enemies around here give you so much experience that you should be able to level up quick enough. You don't have to like get out of your way to grind or anything, but I think it's a good idea to... kind of follow a, a linear path and just... you know, fight whatever you encounter. You should be pretty much strong, as strong as you need to be. And even if you're not, the boss will give you enough of a, a boost. Oh, awesome. Pre-race. This is the same thing as, as revive. If you happen to die, you'll just revive again. It goes kind of on a timer, similar to barrier. So don't rely on it too much. I think revive is a little bit better. In 1987, Ken and Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from Mitochondria Eve, which organism is thought to be Mitochondria Eve, and you, you should know this if you've been following the story, an African female. As you know, this whole game is about Mitochondria and Eve. So if you were paying attention to Maeda earlier, during his science lesson, then you would know. 
All right. So there's a set of stairs that you can take. There's only one item there. We're gonna go there eventually. Like I said, I'm trying to avoid as many encounters as possible, so... Oh. Glass broken. Something coming for me. Is it a new enemy? Not a boss fight, just a normal enemy. Same as the scorpion. It's actually really, really easy. So long as you keep avoiding its moves. It only has two attacks. One, which is that giant explosion that he just did. That one inflicts darkness on you, which is really annoying. And the other one is kind of like a laser attack. All you have to do is be on the move. But I'm sure if you have a, a strong weapon, or at least a strong enough weapon, then you should be able to kill it before it does too much damage to you. It's really easy. It's more of, like I said, it, it, it's kind of an introductory encounter to the enemies that we just fought so that you can fight them later in groups. I think that's probably why they're so easy right now, because they're supposed to be fought in conjunction with the other enemies that you've met so far. Alright, more medicines. Yeah, see, so I have so many medicines that I really don't need to go out of my way to, to grind or anything. I, I really hate grinding. I, I, and I am playing an MMO right now, which I've, I've, I think I've talked about before, Final Fantasy XIV. Ooh, another pterodactyl. No biggie. And as I was saying, I've been playing an MMO and I'm playing it without grinding, or at least I'm trying to. The other thing that I hate about so many encounters and grinding is that I have to cut out all of these sections because it's pointless. It really is pointless. It's just the same enemy over and over and over again. So, and that's the only thing I don't like about this game. I mean, that you backtracking is such a pain in the ass because you have to fight enemies along the way. So many enemies. Did someone just lock the door? Yes. That is indeed correct. I'm just trying to kind of go around because I don't want to miss any items. As I mentioned, this is supposed to be a 100% walkthrough. Or, or, you know, let's play, whatever. I mean, it's supposed to be kind of like um, a guide for you guys to to follow me as I'm trying. Oh, holy crap. Okay, finally. So, I'm finally, like, you know, I'm trying to provide some more of a guide at the same time as enjoying myself, so that's why I'm trying to make that extra effort to like, you know, make maps and show you the right way and trying to collect everything. Normally I probably wouldn't care. Yeah, as I mentioned, this is pretty linear. The only way you can go is down from here. Alright, you can do it. Ah, well done. I still think it's pretty funny how she, if you notice, she runs around with that handgun and whenever I go into a fight, she switches to a, to a rifle. My ultimate rifle. Keep in mind that once you get to, to New Game Plus, once you beat the game, you're gonna get to carry one weapon and one armor with you. So that's why I'm trying to focus on one single weapon. And, well, you know, I'm just kinda, I haven't decided on the armor yet. But as far as the, the weapon, like I said, I'm carrying G3A3 to my new game plus. I'm still not sure how I'm gonna tackle that. I think I should be pretty ready, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna record it or not. We'll see. Yet another pterodactyl. And I'm not sure, maybe I should... I was thinking about streaming it. I'm not sure if anybody would be interested in watching that. Because I, I have the confession to make, I've never beaten the the extra dungeon in the game. I believe I mentioned that before, the Chrysler building. Ah, so many interruptions. This is the way we have to go, that's, if you remember from a few episodes ago, that's where Clamp's office is, and that's who we're looking for, by the way. So we have to go there, but we can't yet, because the alarm system is still enabled. So, we're almost there. So don't worry guys, we're almost there, almost there. And then once we do that, the entire place opens up for us. Uh, but actually this place is not too long, so long as you know where you're heading. Uh, like, you know, plus magic of editing, you get to see the, the shortened version of it. Chameleons, chameleons. Okay. So, I don't know, would you guys want to see the Chrysler building? Let me know. Ah, uh, armadillos. Because I would definitely want to tackle it, but I don't know how I would do that because it's not something that I've done before. And everything that I'm doing right now, all the abilities that I've put into it, 
is like I said, in preparation of New Game Plus, which is, I'm sure is gonna be really fun. Yeah, so I'm starting to get attacked by groups now and it's getting pretty tough. But again, I'm OP, so no worries. So we're actually here. Make sure you don't miss this room. This is the room that you're looking for. I mean, not that you can get lost or anything, but this is the, the one that you have to get to. Let's see, where's the alarm? And you see the blinking light in the back? That's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and here it is, and it's been activated, deactivated, yes, that's what we want to do. And with that we have just opened up the entirety of the museum with the exception of one couple of rooms. But I'll get to that next episode, actually it's been 20 minutes already, so I'll stop for now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, we'll see more next episode, but for now thank you for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, enjoy!